What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Hashtag question. We'll get it answered in video form in tomorrow's video. Without further ado though, we've got one story today and one question and the story is all about things that are gonna happen most likely in 2023 with foldable phones. Now, things to look forward to, changes coming to certain specific foldable phones, and what, again, what can be looked forward to and what, what can be exciting about that as a whole, because folding phones, I still feel like are the future, near future, of where a lot of the changes and the excitement is, is going. You know, we've gone so far and as far as we can go with these kind of phones, they're perfect in a lot of ways in terms of how we use them and battery life and features and all that. But sometimes it's good to push the envelope. It's good to go to that next step. If once you start saying, you know, we're good, we're perfect, that's when things stop and they get boring and dull real quick. So let's talk about this. This is a tweet coming from Yogesh Brar, who has put out a tweet saying that foldables, foldables this year are quite interesting. And he puts a list of different foldables and some of the features that are coming to them that are gonna make them a little bit more exciting. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 will get that bigger cover display. So on the outside, you'll see a bigger display covering up basically the whole top half of the phone where the camera is. OnePlus Fold gets a circular triple cam, but not only does it get a circular triple cam, it's also gonna, just gonna be a new product from OnePlus. So that's quite exciting on its own. Xiaomi Mix Fold 3 is gonna fit a quad cam setup with super zoom on there. So if you want uh, a really, really far zoom on your foldable phone, maybe the Mi Mix Fold uh, 3 would be just for you. Oppo is moving towards a bigger display for the future fold. I've done multiple videos on that Oppo Find N2, and they're gonna be making it, again, more of a, of a, a bigger display on there. And then the Find N2, which is just the same as the Oppo Find N2, which I just spoke of, is gonna have a pixel fold type cousin to itself because pixel fold coming out will have a very similar design which we've mentioned before to the oppo find n2 it'll be a little bit different i think it's a little bit bigger if i remember correctly um wider taller wider a little bit taller wider than this phone uh, but yeah the, there's the, that's I, that's still what, that's what gets me excited in this kind of tech that I talk, talk about. Mobile technology, it's the foldable devices, it's that kind of stuff. I know it's not for everybody, but it is, it, that's where I feel like a lot of the excitement is with, with phones um, lately. Um, what do you guys think? Well, do any of those phones get you excited or any, any of them that you're gonna get? Obviously we didn't mention the Galaxy Z Fold 5 because you know that's his list. But the things that are coming out for that, in terms of what's exciting about the Galaxy Z Fold 5, which again, I'm very excited for it, are gonna be probably a lot of the same things in terms of the way it is. I mean, obviously some of the things will be different. The camera will be different, the processor, things like that. But is it gonna be physically a lot different? That remains to be seen, and we've heard some things that it might, might not. So we'll wait and see on that. Let me know about you guys, your thoughts on foldable phones and flip phones and any of that, any of those phones in that list get you excited. Without further ado, let's jump into our Q&A. Jerome Gold says, is there a way to turn off a voicemail under Galaxy Watch 4 or 5 with turning it off on the phone, without turning it off on the phone? I, I assume you're saying, if you don't want to turn voicemail off on your phone, is there a way to turn it off on your watch? Not that I know of. Um, I double checked with one of my buddies. He said no as well, so I'm gonna say no. If you know of a way of turning that off, let us know in the comments down below. Have a great day, guys. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the hashtag question, and we'll answer it in tomorrow's video. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.